Hello and welcome to Alkid Binders Tutorial Part 1. After watching this video series, you will be able to achieve results similar to one seen in these photos. To create authentic looking mud, we will need textured pigments. In this case VMS spot on pigment number 4, texture type. Dispense some pigments. Now we will need to add some VMS alkyd binders, matte type. Introduce some binders. Mix the two components like so, to create sticky weathering paste. Weathering should be conducted on a varnished model. This ensures paint protection and easier weathering material manipulation. We recommend VMS Varnish HD, Satin Type. Smear the lower hole with the paste. Absolutely no finesse is needed here, just plaster the model as if you didn't know any better. This is called a sacrificial layer. Most of it will be removed later on, as is the case with real flaking mud. When the mud is all over the lower hull, hit it with hot air to evaporate the solvent. Now the fun begins. Scrape portions of the paste with a scrubber brush. Our mud will flake like the real thing. Sweep away loose chunks of paste with a flat brush. The goal is to remove 80% of the paste and leave naturally looking mud deposits. Apply heat if the paste is a bit wet underneath. Use a toothpick to clean tricky areas such as this. This process is all about removal. It's similar to sculpting, where you chip away at the stone or wood, till a shape emerges. While working, you can imagine moving tracks, turning wheels, and how the dry mud is shaken off by a real tank. Just some nice mud deposits remain. Let's refine this result. For the next step we will need VMS Universal Weathering Carrier, Standard Type. We are using VMS Universal Weathering Carrier to remove excess pigment film. This way the whole color will show. Clean only the areas without our mud deposits, so that the whole color shows, and there is that extra contrast, between the base paint color and our mud deposits. Use hair dryer to check how it looks when dry. The mud is active up to 9 hours, even if completely devoid of the solvent, and can still be refined. Too much mud here and there? Just remove it with dry scrubber brush. It will flake just as the real thing, but after 24 hours it will become rock solid. These areas lose mud quickly as the suspension works, let's work on them. Use VMS Universal Weathering Carrier to remove excess pigment film.
when you pop the mud loose during later stages of the work, it can leave stains. It's not a problem. Correct stains with Universal Weathering Carrier. There we go, the stain is gone. Dry mud deposits don't get more realistic than this. This technique is only possible with VMS Alkyd binders. Please note the magnification, this is perfectly in scale. Pre-made acrylic pastes aiming to replicate mud, can't contest this result. We repeat the procedure to weather rest of the lower hull. Use a flat brush, soaked with VMS Universal Weathering Carrier, to create streaking dirt effect like so. Look, using a brush soaked with VMS Universal Weathering Carrier, we change the tone of the hull to slightly brown, using just the already applied pigments. Let's carry on. It's quite simple, we apply the paste and dry it up. Then we scrape some of the mud and work with Universal Weathering Carrier. Use the hair dryer often, to work faster and quickly gauge the results. The amount of mud is totally up to you. If you are creative, and like weathering, you will have lots of fun with these products. After one to two days, these effects will become permanent, so you can take it easy. We are done here, chunks of mud are nicely blended with the hole. That's that. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you watch next episodes of this tutorial where we finish the model.